Hi, we're here in the Cricut Craft Room. I'm Paula, and today we are going to teach you about slice and contour, when and how you use them. So let's get in design space and get started. All right, we're gonna start with this image here. It's just a single layer image about to slay 17. So if you've got a 17 year old coming up in your life, this is gonna be a fun thing to use on a card or a shirt or anything. Now, if you look, this is all one layer. So when we click on it, here in our layers panel, it's just one layer. We can't ungroup it, we can't do anything to manipulate it, to make it look any different than it already is, except for down here using our contour button. So we're gonna click on that. It is going to open this screen and it says hide contour. On image below, select outline portions to turn cut off and on so right here on the screen itself you can click these individual little images and that will either make it disappear or make it reappear so if this one right here we take that and we click on it it's going to take away those so now when we click out of here you can see those are now missing if we go back into contour and say, actually, I really like the way those looked, you can click on them again and it adds them back. Now, when we click out of here, it's all back to the way it was. Back in our contour screen, we also have this side over here where we can hide all contours. And that means that it takes out everything except this one part that says slay. But you can see it even takes out the little inside cutout parts to make the words look the way they're supposed to. So now when we go back into contour and you do hide all contours, it'll so, say show all contours and that'll bring everything back to us as it originally was. Now if we decide that we want to just take out all of these little dashes, we can do it here or we can do it on the side panel. So if we just click down, it's going to take all of these little dashes off and we can just slide down here and do those individually instead of having to move the image around. I personally like to work with the images while they're larger so I can see what I can and can't contour. Down here, you can adjust your view. So we can take this down so it's all on one screen, but the smaller you get and the more in depth your image is, it'll be harder to see what you can and can't contour, which is why I like to leave it big and then I use the side panel to cut out what I don't want. So now if we close from here, we just have about to slay 17. That looks great, we like the way it looks. And from here, we can go to make it and it shows up on our cut screen exactly how we want. Now the great thing about contour is this image is still the original image. When we go back to contour, all of those parts are still there. You don't have to worry about them disappearing if you want to add them, you know, if you want to cut one without it and one with it, you don't have to worry about them being gone forever. You can add those back. However, once you save it, it is going to be saved as this image here. The option to contour those dashes back in will no longer be there. So make sure it's exactly how you want it before you save. All right, so now that we've talked about contour, we are going to talk about slice. Slice is a great tool that can be used to manipulate images and shapes and different things, and we love it. So say you want to make a frame, we're gonna make a square frame, and then we want this to be our back, but then maybe we want a different color frame around the outside of this. So what we can do is duplicate this image because it's the size we want. And then we'll move this right here. Now we're going to take another square and put this over the top of it. And we're gonna decide how big we want our frame square to be. So that looks about good right there. Now we have the smaller square over the top of the outer square. If we select both of these together and we hit down here where it says slice, that is going to cut out 
So here's our original square right here, the smaller one. But now it has cut out this square. So we can move that over there with that one. And now if we want to change the color of this square, say we want it to be blue. Now we can line those up. And this is going to cut with this center out. So we have our background square and then our frame around our background square. So you can do that if you're trying to make ornaments or cut out cards or lots of different things that you want to have the centers of something cut out. Um, for me, we did a faces of the moon with my kids. So we took the circle and then we took another circle and used it to create moon phases. So if you layer those over the top of each other, highlight them both and hit slice. Now you have that, that, and that. So you have two phases of your moon already. And then you can add all the others by slicing off a little bit of each one. So that is how you use weld and slice. We hope that you enjoyed learning a new little tip and trick about your Design Space app. And we hope that you'll continue watching our how-to videos so that you can learn more about your new Cricut machine.